Oh boy, it's time for installing another video card. This is a unique one though. It's a PCI 1X. I'll be installing it in a Dell Dimension E310. So, yeah, this is the only computer that I have, the office computer I should say, that uses the 1X uh, video card. So, bought this one mostly because it was recommended on a Dell forum uh, because of I was looking to see what it would take to upgrade some of these computers getting ready for the Windows 10 upgrade I've mentioned before and this was recommended because of the graphics that Windows 10 has and a lot of the onboard video of these office computers are real glitchy so um, it only comes with the VGA and yeah there's a little slot there for the video card I'll go ahead and pop the panel off easy access for these and, oh, as you can see, right there is the slot. Get around the... Yeah, right there. So, yep, yeah, that's where it's going to go. So I'll go ahead and do an open box, do an install, load the drivers, and we'll test it out. And by the way, this is a Radeon HD 5450. It's the same exact uh, model number as the MSI version. That's a 16-bit or 16X uh, video card that I put in my other computer in a previous video. I'll be doing actually a few of these upgrades, um, installing a few of these I should say. So yeah, we'll uh, get back to the 16-bit when it arrives. I think I got one on the way, but this one arrived today so we'll do it and uh, again see how it works. Well, at least the guy that I bought it from kept the original box, which is good. And, okay, everything's taped up here, so let me get some scissors and open it up. Okay. Nice. We I mean, kept the original packaging and everything. It's like, yeah. Well, I didn't put everything in the bubble wrap, but eh, no big deal. Nice. Got the uh, adapter here for DVI to HDMI. I won't use that on this computer, but I can use that, you know, for uh, computers for like using it on the TV, you know, the LCD TVs that have the HDMI's. So, for better viewing, and it's got the low profile bracket, which I won't need because this is a full tower instruction manual. So, yeah, it looks like it's got all the fun funky languages included and the driver disc. So, good. I mean, everything is pretty much there. Now we'll get the video card itself out. Another bracket. And let's see if I can get this here. One hand. Yep, here we go. Okay. And come on. No, hold on. Let me see if I can set this up here. Yep. Go on, stand up. Alright, yeah, I couldn't do it, so I just shut it off, and here we go. The video card. HIS brand. I guess that's just pretty much the name, because I've seen several of these same models. Uh, I guess they're made by AMD, or, well, it used to be ATI that was bought by AMD, so, yep. So, here we go. Got the VGA, uh, the DVI, and of course the HDMI in the middle. Now... Well, I've seen a lot of these 1X cards, the small pin there, uh, I think were the DMS-59 with the dual uh, monitor setup. Uh, from what I've heard, uh, those are good for dual, you know, again, dual monitors, but for graphics, which I need, you know, I need something a little more powerful. And this one, again, recommended because it's a 1 gig, uh, let me see, yeah, 1 gig DDR3. So, yep, display port. Is that a. I think that's a. No, that is a display port. It's not HDMI. Okay, yeah, now that I look at it. So, again, no big deal. I don't use the display port. Just the two uh, monitors, the DVI and um, VGA. So, all right, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing installed. All right, so the first thing you want to do, of course, I got this little flapper. I like to take these off just to kind of get them out of the way. A little bit easier to work on. Remove the video card bracket. Let's 
will be in the way. And then we will get this thing set to install. But yeah, it's going to take two hands. I got cables to move, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I got it in position. Go ahead and there, push it on in. We should be set. All right, yeah, I just had to finagle it a little bit because I just got these little little lips here that uh, I have to work with instead of a screw. So, all right, well, it's in there. I'll go ahead and get my monitor, keyboard, and mouse set up, um, get all this accessory stuff out of the way, and we'll load the drivers. All right, we're in. I got the back plate put back on, and yeah, just double checking everything. We're ready to fire it up. I'm going to go ahead and put the driver disc in so we can load drivers for display and all that. Alright, Windows 10 is booting. Yeah, I'm still using that funky monitor with the European plug. So, yeah, and by the way, the RAM, this will only hold up to 4 gigs because there's only two slots on it. So, again, another reason that. Uh, uh, this is strictly for office use, nothing high performance because of its limitations. Also, I'm a big fan of ventilation, as you can tell. I got a 60 and an 80 millimeter fan on the back for getting the hot air out of these things that they produce. Intake ventilation there, crossing the processor. Please wait. There I am, RVR. Yeah, we'll get into this thing and then we'll check the graphics. All right. Go into the settings. Go into system. I want to check my memory. About. Yeah, 4 gigs of RAM, 32-bit operating system, because that's pretty much all it can handle due to, the again, limitations. Processor mostly, and uh, yeah, Pentium 4, 3.6, so again, office use, this will be good enough. Now we'll get to the graphics. Okay, I'm still pretty new to Windows 10, so I had to search a little bit here. Under Windows System W, basically, they got everything in alphabetical order on this thing now. Control Panel. Adjust your computer settings. Well, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's got the same Windows setup, so I'm going to go with the small icons. Yeah, so I can see everything. So it's pretty much the same as Windows 7, which is nice. So I don't have to go searching for stuff. Now, Display. Okay, so we've got change size and text size and all that. Let me see, change display settings. Yeah, that's just the monitor. Okay, I guess it won't let me display portrait, landscape flip. No, I'm not going to mess with that. Okay. Resolution, well, same thing. Huh. Alright, well, in the meantime, I'm searching for drivers because, yeah, I guess the disk is only showing drivers for Vista and even XP, so. Yeah, let me get that out of there. Well, I'm learning something new. In order to do Windows updates, I got to click the Start button, and then click on All Programs, and then click Windows Updates. So yeah, I was wondering why I couldn't find it. All right, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up uh, this video as an installation video because yeah, I'm just not up to speed on Windows 10, so I'm going to have to study it and all that stuff and uh, get updates and everything. So uh, yeah, the joys of upgrading because, yeah, this is an office computer and I'm kind of forced to do this so I don't have to fork out $120 if uh, 
the free Windows 10 upgrade goes away July 29, which so far sounds like it's still on go. So, there you go. I'll probably do periodic updates in the description, I guess, on how this video card works. And uh, so far, I mean, it looks pretty good. It's not, you know, jittery or the display seems to be working fine. So, I guess uh, we'll just wrap it up then. And uh, <laughs> until the next thrilling computer upgrade, adios.